Welcome back, monsters. Okay, this, this is so that my beloved fedora doesn't fall off in the middle of the scene. It's been two hours, still pinning the fedora to the head. Hour five, still at it. <laughs> this is my hat hair. This doesn't make it into the movie. We're all very excited because we haven't seen Bucky in uh, his oh, yo. You're Almost catching Bucky my live clothes. reaction to Yeah, who this, he is is now. this is it. This is it. This is the true Bucky. I'm definitely trying to keep this out of this movie. We can't let Trevor get too much camera time. I couldn't do a so segment without the wonderful ACs. So we actually get to switch it up a lot. I wear a really cute pink dress for Nothing But Love, and she also wears a cute little crop top with some shorts. Our first outfit is really cute because we get to wear a cute little skirt, and then for grad is our grad dress that will go under our grad gown. Quick fashion show for you. This is my grad look. <laughs> Low-key kind of want to be an AC now. Yo. Everyone should want to be an AC. Wacy? No. Oh, yeah, Wacy, Zeppie, Wacy. Go in there! Woo! <laughs> Zombies 2 was crazy because we were new, and now that we finally know, like, who these characters are, we're able to add on and add little special things. We have a brand new vest. We have the fur up top. It also has some beautifully hand-painted designs on it. And of course, we have the nails. They're a bit sharper, because Chandler and I really wanted sharper nails, so we pushed for them, and we got them. We still got the moonstone, arguably the most important part of the outfit. Hers is almost shaped like a heart. Getting the outfit all looking good and fierce and ferocious, like a werewolf. Okay. The costume teams have been working so hard for everybody, so it's really cool to see them create something new for Wyatt. We have the markings going on right now. I'm saying it's 6.30 in the morning. I was actually able to ask for some rings, which Wyatt did not have in Z2. I think these are pretty fancy. Oh, we're getting BTS. Whatever she's yeah. using right now smells really good. Now Zed has a little bit more freedom to do whatever he wants. Look at this, the Z here. I don't know what's on the back of this, but I'm sure it's awesome. Zed has style, you guys. That sounds exactly like me. Milo looks up to Zed, and uh, I try to I try to be exactly like him. <laughs> <laughs> Zed needs his facials. This year at Seabrook, we have new visitors, the aliens. One thing, they smell really bad. <laughs> I can't do it. Look at that. So the aliens are super fashion forward. We have a very blue style, very sharp angles. We have hexagon scales. It's very asymmetric and geometric. You've got all of our little silver accents and buttons and rivets and everything else. Just very futuristic. That's really, really what we're going for. But the best part of the whole look is the alien boots. And of course, they make me a little taller. So that's good, too. <laughs> This is one of Addison's alien looks. I really like this one because the back of the hair looks so pretty. The alien hair gets to be long, which is really cool. And I really love the asymmetrical gloves that look awesome on camera. Being able to play Addison has been awesome because I got to be a werewolf, and then now I get to be an alien. It's awesome, I love it. Oh!